Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Ruby Veil of Darkness. For last left off, we are on Saturday, or it is Saturday. What what, do, what am I talking about on Saturday? And uh, last episode, we went off to a bookstore to find a book for Blake, and uh, our friendship grew closer with Ruby and Blake, but not with Yang just yet. And uh, I'll try everything to, I uh, guess, become friends with Yang. <laughs> Alright, let's go check the library just in case Blake is over there. Now, I was actually kind of... Um, Worry that uh, Blake was in the library when we went to sleep at that earlier or around the ending of last episode. So I'm gonna go check right now and see if she's there. So she's not there, okay. And then since nobody's around, that means we're gonna have to go take another nap. Now, this is the only way I know how to progress the game forward. Uh, there may be other ways, the creator uh, might have another different way of progressing the game, but the way I prog I'm progressing to the game, or the way I did progress to the game, was actually by uh, sleeping every day just kind of doing that so my character's pretty lazy i'm surprised he can go to sleep for like a long time till midnight and then refall back asleep that is quite amazing if you ask me I'm back upstairs and uh, even if we access you know team juniper's room and team ruby's room they won't be in there at all they're they're off and about doing the thing so all right and sleep to the ending okay today is sunday you don't have class today i don't think there's much to do so we're gonna rest Rest one more time. Today's okay. You have a special lecture today. You should hurry now. We're gonna trigger an event uh, with Professor Port. Monsters, demons, prowlers of the night. Yes, the creatures of Grim may have many names, but I pre merely refer them to as prey. Silent. Uh, and you show too upon graduating from this prestigious academy. Now, as I was saying, Vale, as well as the other three kingdoms, are safe havens and otherwise treacherous world. Our planet is absolutely teeming with creatures that will love nothing more than to tear you to pieces. And that's where you come in, huntsmen and huntresses, individuals that have sworn to protect those who cannot protect themselves. From what you ask, the very well. And we are, I find this interesting, we are that very character in that scene going, oh yeah, so we're gonna do that. The whole class is awkwardly silent. Anyways, this is what you are trained to become. But first, the story of a, a tale of a young, handsome man. Me. When I was a boy, giggle. Ruby draws a picture of Professor Port and a more root, root, rotate. I, ugh, I can't speak. Shake. <laughs> the others laugh. Only White seems to be paying attention. The moral of the story, a true huntsman must be honorable. A true huntsman must be dependable. A true huntsman must be strategic, well-educated, and wise. So who among you believes to be an embodiment of these traits? I do, sir. And then we're gonna actually get a cutscene, so we're gonna have to skip real quick. Oh, actually, no, it shows. What? It actually shows. Wow. We're actually not gonna watch it. <laughs> sorry, guys. This guy got hyped right up. So sorry. Ruby chases after Weiss. You decide to follow her. All right, Weiss. What? What's wrong with you? Why are you being? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're you're supposed to be a leader, and all you've been is uh. Wait, what? I I can't read. Oh, right, if you guys are watching this exact same session that I've been playing. Gosh, I. What did I do? That's just. Ugh. You have nothing to earn your position in the forest. You acted like a child and only continue to do so. Why? So where's this coming from? What happened to all the talk we were working. Uh, guys. I'm so sorry. I thought you believed in acting like a team. Not a team led by you. I've studied and trained, and quite frankly, I deserve better. Osmond made a mistake. And there goes Professor Osmond. That didn't seem to go so well. Is she right? Did you make a mistake? That remains to be seen. Would you mind going after Weiss? You nod and find Weiss. Let's go find Weiss. Out to the building. Weiss is staring off into the distance. She is still rather angry. What was that about? Oh, what are you doing here? You seem upset. Well, I am. Well, I think I should have been the leader of Team Ruby. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I don't question Osbin. Oh, so would you rather... Would you just blindly accept this decision after seeing how exceptional I am? Your skill is equal to your poor attitude. That is... True! Okay, I think Weiss is gonna kill me. How dare you? He is right. I see a girl before me who has spent her entire life getting exactly what she wanted. Professor Port seems to have been eavesdropping. That's not remotely true. Well, not entirely true. So the outcome did not fall in your favor. Do you really believe acting in such a manner would cause those in power to reconsider their decision? So instead of fretting about who you don't have favor what to do, hone your skills, perf per perfect every technique, and not be the leader, but the best person you can be. I... Well, I best be off. Good luck with your endor. Wait, what? I didn't read that. What he said, there may have been some truth to it. Thank you for coming to set me straight, but you could have been a little nicer about it. If you need anything, I'm normally studying in our team's room. Right. Yes. 
Now, uh, fun fact, I really couldn't find why he said all. It's, it was really kind of bad. Um, yeah. Anyways, because, yeah, I couldn't find Weiss. It was kind of weird. I don't know if I was doing it right because uh, I always checked and Weiss was never there. Yeah, there's. Yep. We don't have we don't have the opportunity yet to become closer to Yang. We're gonna go and check the library and see if Blake is over there. And if Blake's not over there, we have to go through that whole thing of sleeping again. All right, Blake, are you over here? No, Blake is not there. Okay. Back to taking more naps. Gosh, my character really is tired. Now we the library, uh, not the library, the mess hall, which is the cafeteria area. Uh, I don't, I don't think nobody's in there at all. I've been going back and forth, like I said in er, my earlier playthrough, and there was kind of nothing over there. So the only places to see the main characters are in the library, the hall, and right outside the class, which is Ruby's outside the class. Blake's in the library. Yang is just kind of standing in the hall. We're gonna go check. Team Ruby's room to see if Weiss is in there. Weiss! No. And then we're gonna go over here. Alright, go over here. And we're gonna go back to sleep once more. Okay. And today today's Wednesday. Now I'm gonna try my best to trigger the event in which we go to whoever falls. Ruby oh no, Ruby's not here. But uh yeah, we're gonna try to trigger that event where we go to Forever Falls. Uh and uh I think that's we have to complete like we have to go through a whole entire week. Now I think if I remember correctly, Ruby Volume One, they said something about going on a field trip on a Friday or a Saturday. I, be, I believe it's Friday in, in which they go on the field trip. So yeah, let's rest. Let go back to rest. Uh, today's Thursday. You have class today, and let's go see if we can hang out with any friends today, shall we? Alright, so Ruby is not there. Actually, I actually gotta go this way just so we can get to the library quicker. Oh, not the library. Oh, we just took the longer way. Darn it. It's okay. Okay, um. I wanna do a jump cut, but I usually don't jump cut any of these videos here. Alright. Blake? Oh, Blake's not in here. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's go back to bed. So I'm actually gonna take this way, then come down through this way. This way, out this way, that way, and up this way. And all right, let's go to bed. And all right, let's go to bed. Ugh, ugh. All right, and nothing. All right. Today is Friday. Okay, so we don't have the field trip yet, so I'm gonna have to. So I'm guessing we have to survive another week of going through classes before we actually get to the next part. Ruby, oh, Ruby's not there. I'm always, I'm always, I'm always hoping that Ruby would be there. Okay, so I'll think since I wanna. Uh, okay, we're gonna go check the library just in case Blake is actually there, because I wanna trigger a uh, friendship hangout event thing. Let's go do that. This way. Let's go. And Blake, are you in here? Blake, Blake. Oh darn it! Darn. Okay, okay, that that was my fault. I really I couldn't like resist going over there, so I had to go over there just to see if Blake was over there, which she's not, unfortunately. But it's okay. Okay, and up we go, and back down this way. Open this door. All right, let's go. Come on. Sprint faster. And I actually don't know what to talk about anymore. I'm so concentrated now. I'm trying to just get to the next events. So I'm kind of just losing it. This is Saturday. Oh, today's Saturday. Okay, so today's Saturday. And we don't have classes. So hopefully that will trigger uh, the friendship event things with you know everybody else. So let's go downstairs. And like I said, we won't be able to you know hang out with Yang just yet. But hopefully... Uh, no, wait, since Yang is not even down there, I don't think, I don't think any of the, the, members spawn, so I don't think Blake's gonna be in the library, I don't think Ruby's gonna be down there waiting or anything like that. So let's go to bed once more, we're gonna rest through Sunday too, because I don't think there's anything on Sunday which we can do. Alright, today is Sunday, you don't have a class, well, I gotta go back to sleep, 
Alright, today's Monday, you have class today, and we're coming to the end of this episode. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.